Hello everyone and welcome to the Dice Commando YouTube channel. I'm Andrew with you here as always. This is the Commando Cast, a video cast about all things Star Wars Destiny. This video and others like this one are possible thanks to viewers like you. Please show your support with a like and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any new videos. If you want to get involved with the channel, consider becoming a channel member. There are many benefits to channel membership including access to our Discord, exclusive deck tech and strategy videos, and the opportunity to help create channel content. I want to sincerely thank all our channel members, as I truly couldn't do this without your support. You guys rock. Go Commando! With the release of ARH-6 just on the horizon here very, very soon, Covert Missions will be rotating out, taking with it some impactful stuff, some not so impactful stuff, and some interesting stuff. So today I'm exploring missions. Are we going to miss them? Probably not, but maybe we should bring some back. Hey there, Star Wars Destiny folks. Welcome back to Destiny Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. I am super excited about the release. We know it's coming soon, uh, or at least announcements are for to coming soon. They've been teasing us on the discords with all sorts of stuff. I know Wook, he's got it. He's got it all planned out what he thinks is coming. But we're going to start seeing spoilers very soon. So when that happens, or say when the set drops, of course, as we know, Covert Missions is going away. We've talked before on here about how, you know, in terms of sets moving out, Covert Missions isn't actually that huge compared to some of the other ones we've seen, like Spark of Hope and stuff like that. But, you know, it's taking with it the mission plots, which is what I want to talk about tonight. Now, in the in the grand scheme of Destiny, build the Death Star, BDS and DDS, right? Build the Death Star and destroy the Death Star. Those were the really cool almost trademark ones of the Covert Mission set, right? They came early. They were kind of, you know, the theme of the set. Uh, but they, they never really made that many waves. I think we came we came pretty close to it being usable during, was it the re Redemption days, right? Once we saw Dak. Yeah, he, he was in it pretty good for a while with shield movement and stuff like that, and they kind of built him into that. But a, again, in the grand scheme of things, those plots never made huge waves. And and I, and I think that's a good thing, right? I mean, bringing alternative win conditions to the table, literally, in our case, is is always a dangerous prospect. So approaching it cautiously, I think, is the right thing, right thing to do. But there are some of those mission plots that are maybe lesser well known. Certainly, Rescue Han had its days, and that's from that's from Transformations. And actually, I, I'm still assuming that Transformations will be rotating out. I'm not entirely clear on that. But I'm assume, assuming and maybe just wishing and hoping that transformations will indeed go away with covert missions. I think that's a logical thing to do, but we will see what they decide. Either way, so that one saw, it, it was a lot of fun, but it mostly saw play on its flippy flip side, which was just legit Han, because he could start that way and he was pretty damn good. One of the lesser seen ones, one of the lesser played ones, was, was this guy here, Coaxium Heist, right? So Coaxium Heist, I think, is actually... I think this is a really well done card for where I think missions could could go. And, you know, again, this is I'm not giving away any spoilers and stuff, but you know, for Andor, right, there's a very cool, like you could very easily come up with a mission or two of doing jobs or something like that, right? So as we go into the more scoundrel side of the universe or of the Star Wars universe, it's it's pretty easy to, you know, come up with, oh, you know, let's go Saw Gerrera and his people are going to go do a terrorist plot or we're going to go rob a bank or we're you know what whatever go blow up an imperial facility and I think that that's kind of a cool way to really bring a different kind of plot I mean it's not again it's not a different kind of plot because we've seen stuff like it before but we don't see a lot of it in the game now and I kind of you know we, we've traditionally at large on the fun side of the community enjoyed building theme decks, you know, decks that work together, kind of natural synergy, like Luke Dak, right? That was pretty cool or something like that. So if you could build, I don't know, R2 and C3BO have to go steal the secret plans or, or, or something like that, right? But th that's that's really more my head is going is this not so much like you win the game with it, but instead you get some sort of reward for it, right? The I mean, again, Coaxium Heights, I think is a great example of 
kind of the concept of what I'm talking about, right? It doesn't need to be a very expensive plot. You can give your opponent some sort of advantage, and then when you defeat that advantage or you put X number of counters on it or you know whatever it may need to be, you would get some sort of in-game reward for doing that. And it doesn't, you know, that in-game reward doesn't have to be winning the game. It doesn't even have to be super impactful, right? It could be little small stuff like go tutor a card from your deck. Or, you know, we love the set-aside zone, right? We could pull something in from the set-aside zone. And, you know, the, the rescue Han thing where you suddenly get a character, I think that's too impactful, right? I mean, bringing a bunch of health on that. You know, I'm not asking for a three-point plot, a four-point plot. Maybe it's a one-point plot that's free. Maybe a character starts with that plot in play. You know, you could have, I don't know, Sabine save Mandalore or something like that, and it just starts in play with her, and it's free, or you can only run it with her, and then there's something if Sabine if Sabine drops a character, she gets some sort of bonus or, or something like that. Right? It could be very, very simple. Inquisitors could have one where if they remove so many blanks, they or if they turn a die to so many blanks, they get some sort of bonus. Something like that, right? You guys could three craft it on three craft on it for for hours. I mean, we could sit here all day, and there's there's not much value in that. But that's really what I'm I'm driving to. I think that would be a real cool design space to explore. That would be honestly a pretty safe design space in the future because it doesn't again it doesn't have to be huge, and in exchange for it not being huge, they can essentially be free, right? So you would put. I know we resources, but you would effectively put your resources into completing this other thing to get a potential benefit from it. And depending on what it is, your opponent may be trying to mess you up from doing that, or they gain the advantage of that you're putting your resources into that instead of something else, but then you get the bonus. So when you complete it, I just think it would be a really cool mini. I'm not saying like we need a whole set around like mission plots, but you know, as we've seen from the expanded universe, Maybe that's the way that we go into bounties, right? I mean, Mando could have one where save the child, and then I mean, again, that's that's kind of been done. I get it, right? But you could you could have something along that, or you know, IG88 comes out and he's got the kill protocol objective or something like that. And I think it would be a really cool way to you know kind of tell a story within Star Wars Destiny within our Star Wars Destiny games that wouldn't be too impactful to the game, but could really be kind of fun so anyway as we're you know talking through this let me let me know what you think like is is the I mean, again it's, it's not cracking the eggs it's been done it's just to the extent that it's been done and i think it would be kind of cool if we came up with something to help us tell the story i think it'd be really neat for destiny so again let me know what you think is it is it just rehashing an old stuff that never worked what do you think would it work be cool i don't know let me know so that's it for destiny friday really appreciate you guys Really excited about spoiler season. I know we're all waiting on bated breath. Not a lot going on in the Destiny world right now. Kind of waiting for that to happen. So when it hits, it's going to hit hard and fast, and it's going to be awesome. So nothing else, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Go Commando.